when I talk about having an AI that is predicting your energy usage um, by basically spying inside your house, and it's not actually a person that's spying, it's more the computer that's spying. Um, am I talking about a wide area network versus a local area network, like a WAN? Yeah, I am. Uh, but because obviously there would be routers and stuff. But what I'm, but I mean, it's it's air gapped from the general internet, so it's not accessible, at least in that idea. But when I start talking about doing it for a big, um, on a big scale, um, because it would it would be very useful for these utilities to have a better idea about how much electricity they need they need to send over the wire. Um, that that's uh, it's obviously not going to be air gapped. It's it's unless we like find some sort of new way where it's like that those that type of network follows completely different rules. But I don't know. Um, what I'm actually coming back to talk about now is um, this universal basic currency or whatever universal li li living wage. And I heard some guy say the other day, low interest rates like there are now is equivalent. Low interest rate rates to the rich people is what a universal basic income would be for poor people. Um, it would do some, something similar to the economy. And um, I've also talked about how it's not as dangerous for rich people to have a ton of money because um, say that um, Elon Musk starts Tesla and he gets a bo bonus because his t stock has reached $100 billion and he... Um, he, he, he suddenly has five billion more dollars. Does that matter to me? No. Why? Because he's not going to spend any more resources. He's already rich enough that um, the richer you are, um, like, once you're already rich to a certain point, like if you, if you have over $500 million, chances are you're not going to consume any more resources than you would if you had $500 billion. Um, unless you're like starting companies and stuff like that and you're paying wages. Um, but... Um, when you, but okay, so uh, but with the universal basic income, that can be an issue with um, overconsumption, right? And that's why I, I have this idea where we're saying, okay, you can buy used stuff, you can buy necessities like stuff you have to have, like food. Um, but what what else can you buy? Rentals. So I want to rent um, a, a, some power tools because I need to um, cut some wood, um, but I don't really need a, um, a, a circular saw. But it would be great that I could use it at this time. I, I, I need to do some work on my house. Um, so could you use your universal basic income? Which it's not only a universal living income. This is a second currency. This is something that people can pay their employees in. It can become like because if, if you pay your employees in it, it's worth the same as dollars. But if you um, exchange the money that you bring in from the, from the second currency, then you're only going to get 80% when you're converting it to dollars. That, that's an example. I'm not 100% sure about it, but I was pretty dis disappointed that Marianne Williamson endorsed Andrew Yang. And I mean, is it because I, I think Andrew, Taiwanese people are Chinese and that's, that's what they say. And I'm pretty sure Andrew Yang considers himself Chinese. Um, and I feel like that's not a good situation unless you're, you think it's a good thing from dealing with the Chinese government. But do I think that he would have a very big conflict of interest interest in the event of a war in Asia? Probably, but fortunately our military wouldn't. But um, I don't think Andrew Yang stands a chance. But I mean, I know everyone's going. Andrew Yang is is a lawyer from that went to Columbia. He grew up in the United States. He's a child of immigrants. I'm a child of immigrants. Uh, I'm trustworthy. And okay, I don't know. Um, do I trust Andrew Yang? Not really. Um, do I trust Pete Buttigieg? Odd enough, not really, which is weird. It's weird how Buttigieg is who I trust the least. But then, but that's because, according to the Bible, if you're gay, you should be commit, you should be put to death. Like it, it's, you're an abomination, you should be put to death. But he's he's campaigning as a Christian, and that that means that he's a liar. At least I tell you who I am, which who I am is is a very complicated person, and you might not like it. Um, which means that you, I might, <laughs> I don't think I stand a chance. I've looked at the polls. I saw the polls. Um, uh, there's no way I have over 5%, um, in Iowa specifically, maybe in California, I'm doing better. I don't know. I don't know where I would be doing well. I don't think I have any support whatsoever, but I sure have good ideas and 
I feel like other people should be talking about my ideas. Do I think that if I get chose, if I if I if I win the primary, I'm probably going to pick Elizabeth Warren because I need a lawyer. I, I need I need lawyers, and I feel like she might be more for trying to save the planet than I realize. Why wouldn't I pick Bernie Sanders, dude? Bernie Sanders is just too much. All right, uh, switch should have been nominated for a Vinox Emmy and for the song Symphony, didn't get chosen because uh, I forgot him. Uh, Head in the Heart should have been nominated for uh, See Through My Eyes instead of the other song. Um, I'm disappointed with my Vinox Hammies. Sorry about that. No more talking today. Hope you have a good day, though.